Well, welcome everyone to Race Face TV and this edition of Who's Next? Today, we're gonna to go about as far as we can go because Race Face, we're here in Florida, but we're gonna go all the way up to Graham, Washington, where we find 12-year-old Levy Jones. Now, Levy is a superstar in quarter midgets and getting ready to move into the Legend Series. So, Levy, how are you doing tonight? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing really good, man. So, I know we were trying to set this up in your in your race shop and everything. We were having a little bit of internet connections, but and we couldn't really convince mom to bring the race car into the house. Yeah, so, but I, I see a lot of hardware back there and a lot of vintage racing pictures, it looks like. So, let me yes. ask you a question. What made you decide that you wanted to be a race car driver? Well, my dad was a race car driver and my grandpa was a race car driver. And my grandpa, he owned a race car parts manufacturer. It was one of the largest for a very long time. So I just kind of grew up knowing racing and wanted to do it myself. So you were probably born and at that instant they were checking you out saying, okay, yeah, he's going to be a driver. So it probably started right yeah. then and there, right at right much, at inception. Yeah. <laughs> so at what age did you get started racing? I think I was eight when I started. I, we went to the Graham Fair right up here about three minutes away and we went there, there was a booth for quarter midgets. There's track literally like steps away. So we just, like a few weeks later, there was a uh, ride day and we just went, did that and we were hooked. You were hooked, that was it. So to be yeah, the day that your dad was like, boy, that trip cost me a lot of money and it still costs yeah, me money today. <laughs> All yeah. right, so as you kind of talked about a little at the very beginning, you come from a long list of racers and I want to talk about your grandfather a little bit because um, from what I understand, he was basically credited for designing the quick change rear ends for sprint cars. Yeah, he actually did. He made it out of magnesium, I think. He had a tire foundry and shop. My dad could tell you so many stories about all the stuff that happened in there. It's crazy. It's like, <laughs> well, that's a big deal, man. I mean, really, I mean, I would think a quick change rear end really changed sprint car racing because yeah. I mean, the track changes and the gear ratios change consistently, and it'd be kind of a bummer if you had to come in and, again, I don't think there's enough room in the cockpit of the sprint car for a transmission in there, so that's that's yeah. that's pretty cool. And, and you yeah. also now have a little sister that's racing. Yeah, I do. And yeah, I was, she's I was, doing pretty good. I started to say, I was watching the Facebook yeah. post and stuff like that. She just won a couple of big races at the Grands, right? Yeah, she won the uh, B championship in Cordage at uh, TVQMA, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome. I was like pulling my animal into, or no, it was my 160 into, uh, what was it, uh, tech. And I just look over at Allie's in the lead. I'm like, oh, dang. So that's, that's she's in the lead, man. So she's following yeah. in your footsteps. So are, are you kind of handing your quarter midget cars down to her? or? I think I'm a. Her, she's a little too small for me right now, but I think she'll grow into them eventually. Yeah, because I know I got to meet both of you when I was out in Vegas last year yeah. for, the, for the big race out there, and, and it was just something about you guys that I just gravitated right off the bat. And one of the things was is how ba how hard your mom and dad worked, you know. I mean, yeah. your dad was like there. nonstop. He had a great car tuner there, so just looked like a really solid race team. Yeah. Yeah, Dean Mazzo was a very big part of that too. He flew all the way from Florida and came and helped us with setups and everything. We actually met him, I think, two years before that in Topeka. And uh, after that, he just started coming to all the national events. And yeah, my dad's amazing at what he does in the shop. It's lucky he learned half the stuff he does. Yeah, there you go. So we got a little game that we play and it's called Get to Know Levy in 60 Seconds. Are you ready to play? Yeah, I am. All right, here we go. What's your favorite food? Spaghetti. Favorite video game? iRacing. iRacing, good answer. Favorite TV show? Yeah. Last Man Standing. Favorite color? Favorite color is green. Favorite superhero? I don't really watch much Marvel or DC or anything, but uh, Captain America is pretty cool. Okay, favorite NASCAR driver? Dale Earnhardt Jr. Dale Jr. What he's retired now, so who are you going to be pulling for? Yeah, uh, Jimmy I don't Johnson. think he's going to. 
I don't think he's going to win a lot of races in the announcing booth. No, I don't think he will. But he has made the word "sly job" very famous now. Yeah, yes. So who was your? I, I was talking over you. So who was your favorite driver now that's actually racing? Uh, Casey Kane, I think. Casey Kane. All right. Favorite Casey subject Kane or in Jimmy school. Johnson. One of those two. Yeah, he actually came from not that far away. I think about an hour. That's where he used to live. That is that is yeah. correct. And he's got that open wheel background as well. So what's your favorite yeah, subject in school? Math. Math. Okay. That'd be good when you get into the engineering yeah, side and try to figure out these race cars. All right. Yeah. Favorite athlete outside of racing? Uh, Steph Curry, I think, because I play a lot of basketball. All right. He's amazing. The yeah, guy he is. is absolutely amazing. I, I just this year in the NBA Finals, I, I actually watched him a lot, and he he amazed me every night. I think you're watching those games, thinking, "What's LeBron going to do tonight?" And then by the end of the first game, you're like, "What's what's Curry going to be doing?" Because he he was exactly. he was on it, man. All right, so let's talk a little bit about your quarter midget racing career, and that's been pretty extensive. And you you started yeah, winning right out of the right out of the box. So just give us some highlights of yeah. that. Well, my first race ever was the Novice Challenge, and I ended up winning that one. That was all the novices from all over the region come and race a certain track, and I ended up winning that one. And then uh, that first year was 2014, I think. I went from junior novice all the way to senior my first year, which that's I don't think I've heard of anyone that's ever done that. And then uh, 2015, I uh, senior Honda track record at low wheels and uh, light 160 regional win at I-5, which is dirt track, and then uh, 2016 was about six track records, uh, two club wins, about two region wins, several seconds a bit, and then I did a, got a uh, Light World Formula Championship, which, for region, which was really cool, I had a lot of fun with that, and uh, then 2017 was a fun one, that's where I really started getting into it, uh, Got eight track records, ten region wins, uh, Light World Formula Dirt Grands Champion, uh, and third place in Senior Honda National Championship. Well, that's pretty impressive. Then, but I, I know one of the things that I saw on your list that impressed me more than anything, uh, and not not taking anything away from the championships and stuff like that, yeah. but racing is all about consistency. And I saw seventy five races without a DNF. Oh yeah. Um, one of the cleanest cord midget drivers I've ever seen. That's what my dad always says. He's, I'm just too clean. I'd never wreck a car. It's crazy. Well, I saw that when I was in Vegas, and that's what I talked to your dad about when I was out there. I said, man, he is the smoothest driver here. He never got frazzled, no matter what happened, no matter what situation that you were in. And that's something that, you know, I can just tell you from being in this business for a long time, you can't learn that. You even got it or you don't have it. And 75-plus yeah. races with with no DNFs, you, you definitely got it, young man. Thanks, yeah. So what was it like to win your first race? My first race was pretty cool. I had a lot of fun with that one. That was the Novice Challenge, and I was just went out there not really expecting to win, but just had a lot of fun with it. My sister, sister actually ended up getting second like the year after me, which was really cool. So what was it like? I mean, I, I got to think that one of the, the neatest parts, I don't care if you're in a quarter midget, you're in a stock car, sprint car, doesn't matter, is when you get that checkered flag and you get to make that lap yeah. around the track all by yourself. What was that like? Oh, that was amazing. I just had so much fun with that. You know, usually I'll just pop my visor out and listen to the announcers talking about me. It's, it's awesome. Yeah, I see that smile on your face. I like to hear the announcers yeah. talking about you. That's what they always said, man. You know, if you're at the end of the race and they're talking about you, either something really bad happened or something really good happened. So you're always good yeah, to be on the good always. side of things. So um, let's talk about your 2018 racing season. And that's mm -hmm. uh, seeing you kind of get initiated into a new division in the Legend Cars. Yeah, it was. It was kind of hard because I'm transferring from quarter midgets to legends, so I don't really have a full season in the quarter midgets. I did run uh, club races and stuff, but mostly I'm focused on the legend right now and just doing good in that. It's been a lot of fun. 
I've been watching you take some doing some practicing and stuff on some yeah. uh, video that you guys have been posting up on Facebook. So what's the big difference? I mean, what what have you found out so far between that quarter midget and and that legend car, except the speed? The speed is a lot, but uh, the clutch is really fun to figure out. That's took me a while to figure out, but the speed is definitely a big thing. Plus, the cars are just bigger. They're just bigger cars, more fun to work on. Right. And now that you're getting bigger, you got more room in there. I know we, at the very beginning, yeah, the, before we started, you were like, I can barely fit in that quarter midget anymore. Yeah. So, exactly. what sacrifices have you, have you had to make to be the level of race car driver that you are right now? Because you guys are traveling all over the country. Yeah, yeah. We've had to miss a lot of church and family stuff and birthday parties and friends stuff. It's just been a lot of missing out on certain school events and like like um, family stuff, definitely. Yeah. Well, the question is, is it all worth it? Yeah, definitely. It's definitely worth it yeah. in the end to have a chance to get up to NASCAR or k and something like that. It's definitely a good risk to take. Yeah. So I know the answer to this one already, but I always ask this question. Who are your biggest supporters? My biggest supporters are God and my family, definitely. Well, you got those in the right order, man. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm yeah. proud of you for saying that. Absolutely. That's why I love following your dad on on, uh, on social media. He's such an encouraging and good-hearted person. That that's really that's really cool. So, yeah. what's the two? What's the rest of the 2018 season kind of look like for you? Um, I think I think we're gonna have two more legend races, two or three. And then we're going to have four more races in the quarter midgets, including a regional event. So we still have a few races to go. So let's talk about Levy's long-term racing goals. What, where, where do you want to be? Where do you see yourself kind of progressing over the next four or five years? I'm thinking, so I'm going to do about two or three years in Legends now, and then eventually late models, and then for about two years, and then super late models for about, two years, three years, and then Canon Super Late Model kind of thing for about three years after that. And then hopefully NASCAR or something like that. Yeah. Well, you know by the time you get two years advanced now, that that area is going to change a little bit, I'm pretty sure. I think yeah, you'll see sometime a combination between the NASCAR Canon series and the Arca series, which is going to be great yeah. for you. It's going to be an awesome development program by the oh, time you yeah. get ready for that. So I got a feeling it's probably not going to take you as long to get there as maybe what you think. So, uh, no, I don't think it will. Yeah, but well, it's good to have goals in front of you. You know, something that you yeah. can shoot for. So, you've got your sights set on definitely making it. I mean, if we, if I was to ask you today, say, where do you want to end up? You want to end up at the NASCAR Cup level. It probably won't be called Monster yeah. Energy Drink the time you get there, but that's definitely yeah. where you want to end up at, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely NASCAR would be awesome to end up in but i'd be just as happy in canada super late models or truck series or something like that yeah well i think all those things you're going to see some um some big progression here over the next couple of years so what does levy do when he's not racing what kind of hobbies do you have i play basketball and i racing and some other video games like fortnite and stuff but definitely basketball and I race. Okay, so what, what position in basketball? Are you a guard forward? I'm usually a uh, wing, one of the two wings. Okay, so. I want guard a few times. There you go. All right, so is there anything else that you want to talk about? Anything that you want people to know about Levy that maybe they, they wouldn't know about you? Some surprises with something. I really, really like watching. Uh, Dawson Fletcher and Devin West racing a lot. They're a lot of fun to watch. I kind of look up to them a bit. They're a lot those of fun. Are, those are some good role models. So you want to give a call yeah. out to any sponsors that you want to? Uh, a Advanced Septic and Construction, NC Chassis Company, FMI Racing, Advanced Racing Suspension, Quality Lumen Tune, Motors by Mike, Mike Barrett Racing, and Meese Translation Services. Also, uh, I love this life. It's a great foundation we've been kind of following. Uh, 
a kid actually started, Luke Swenson. He's amazing. I really wanted to get sponsored by them. And what was the name of that again? I Love This Life. I Love This Org. Life. Okay, yeah. so we'll put that up on the screen so everybody knows yeah. a little bit about that. That's a great shout out there. Well, Levy, I want to thank you for being with us. You know, um, like I said, the first time I saw you in Vegas, I knew you had talent. I think you've got an amazingly bright future in front of you. You've got all the support that you need behind you as far as your parents are concerned. So I'm going to do a shout out here. I normally don't do this, but if you're a sponsor out there and you've been wondering about who you could connect with as far as a young driver, well, guess what? You're looking at him right now. I mean, he's, he's not only a good driver, but he's very marketable. Look at that smile on his face. I know the first time I saw you, the first thing it would be like, man, this is kind of like a rock star race car driver because you kind of got that yeah. look to you. So I think that's, yes. uh, that's really cool. So again, Levy, thanks a lot for being on there. Tell your mom and dad I said thanks. And everybody, thanks for tuning in to Who's Next. He's definitely a Who's Next superstar on the rise. And we want to encourage all of you to go check out his website, check out his Facebook page, follow this young racer, share it with your friends. And everybody, again, we appreciate you tuning in to this week's Who's Next. And we'll see you back here again in two weeks. Everybody have a great evening and go out and support local racing in your community. We'll see you real soon.